Essentials of Data Transmission, Module 4, Bandpass. Baseband Signal. In communication, the information source signal is usually a baseband signal such as waveform from a digital circuit of an analog audio signal from a microphone. The communication system will transfer the information source signal to the desired destination. It usually requires the use of a bandpass signal that has a spectrum that is concentrated at plus minus FC. FC is selected so that information signal will propagate across the communication channel. Bandpass signal. Bandpass communication signal is obtained by modulating a baseband analog or digital signal onto a carrier. Baseband signal has spectral magnitude that is zero from frequency in the vicinity of the origin and negligible elsewhere. Bandpass wave has also spectral magnitude that is non-zero for frequencies in some band concentrated about a frequency F plus minus SC, where FC is called the carrier frequency. In this slide, you will see the bandpass signal spectrum. Baseband bandpass modulation. Modulation is a process of imparting the source information onto a bandpass signal with a carrier frequency FC by the introduction of amplitude or phase perturbations or both. This bandpass signal is called the modulated signal S of T and the baseband source signal is called the modulating signal M of T. As the modulated signal passes through the channel, noise corrupts it. The result is a bandpass signal plus noise waveform that is available at the receiver input R of T. The receiver has the job of trying to recover the information that was sent from the source. This slide shows the process of baseband, bandpass, and modulation. Representation of modulated signal. Modulation is the process of encoding the source information, M of T, modulating signal, into a bandpass signal, S of T, modulated signal. The modulated signal is just a special application of the bandpass representation as shown in the slide, where FC is associated carrier frequency in hertz, where omega C is 2 pi FC. The complex G of T is a function of the modulating signal M of T that is as shown in the slide. Spectrum of bandpass signal. The spectrum of a bandpass signal is directly related to the spectrum of its complex envelope. 
if a band pass waveform is represented by as shown in the slide, the spectrum of the band pass waveform is as shown in the slide. Spectrum of bandpass signal For distortionless transmission of bandpass signal, the channel transfer function H of F satisfy the following requirements. The amplitude response is constant. The derivative of the phase response is constant. Tg is a constant called complex envelope delay or more concisely, the group delay, as shown in the slide. For distortionless bandpass transmission, it is only necessary to have a transfer function with a constant amplitude and a constant phase derivative over the bandwidth of the signal. For distortionless bandpass transmission, it is only necessary to have a transfer function with a constant amplitude and a constant phase derivative envelope group delay over the bandwidth of the signal. Bandpass sampling. If a real bandpass waveform has a non-zero spectrum only over the frequency interval F1 smaller than absolute F and smaller than F2 where the transmission bandwidth B is taken to be the absolute bandwidth B equal to F2 minus F1 then the waveform may be reproduced from sample value if the sampling rate if f s bigger than 2 p t nonlinear distortion in addition to linear distortion amplifiers produce nonlinear distortion the nonlinear distortions, among others, are harmonic distortion, intermodulation distortion, cross modulation.